Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study using the calendar. Here I wrote on the board February and March and part of April. April didn't fit all of it. And you see these letters here, S, M, T, W and so on. Those are for the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Okay. Now let's check what we have here. March 6. And one week later and so on. Matthew, come on, circle March 6 on the calendar. Where is it? Oh, it's pretty easy to find. Now, what date would we have one week later? It's pretty easy to look on the calendar for that because on the calendar, one week later is just exactly below March 6. It's March 13. And the other way to do it is that you add a 7, okay? Because one week is 7 days. So you add a 6 plus 7, 13. Now how about one week earlier? I cannot use subtraction because if I go 6 minus 7, that would be like negative 1. But I can look at the calendar and again go up over here. It's February 27. Three weeks earlier, we can use the same thing. I'm here, I'm gonna go three weeks up. One, two, and three. So February 13. Eighteen days later. Okay, let me see if I can just add. The 6 and the 18, yep, that's 24, that works fine, so it is March 24. Three months later, okay, this time you can count the months, okay, we are in March, and then count three months forward, you would have April, May, and June. So, three months later is June 6th. 33 days later than March 6. Okay. Now my addition doesn't really work because if I add 33 and 6, I get 39. But there is no such date as March 39th. So this is what I would do. I would go on the calendar 33 days later. But to make it quicker, I don't have to count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, da, da. I can go by 7s because here's 7 days later. Right? And then this would be 14 days later, 21 days later, and then over here, 28 days later. And now we're really close to 33. So this is 28 days later, 29, 30, 31, 2, and 3. So April 8th. Seventeen days earlier than March 6th. Okay, we're here. I can count backwards 17 days, but it's quicker to count by sevens, by whole weeks. So seven days earlier is exactly here, right? And then another seven days or 14 days earlier is this. And then I go backwards three more days. So it's 15, 16, 17. So that is February 17. All right, maybe you can try this now. April 18, and then what date would we have seven weeks earlier? What would you do? Matthew, you want to show them? April 18th, aha. Uh -huh. Matthew finds it, and then? Yep, go seven weeks earlier. What do you think? Did Matthew do it right? February 28th. Looks like it. Friday, Friday. 25 days earlier. How would you find that out? If we are here at April 18 and you need to find a date that is 25 days earlier, what shall you do? My method was that I count by sevens, by weeks. So here's seven days earlier and here's 14 days earlier. 
and here's 21 days earlier, and then 22, 3, 4, and 5, this one here, March 24. Mathis' piano lesson on June 24th was postponed by one week. What is the new date? Okay, one week is seven days. So all we really need to do, looks like, is just add seven and 24. So we would get June 31, June 31st. But there's one problem here. Do you know that? It is that June does not have 31 days. June only has 30 days. Okay, so there is no such date as June 31st. It is instead the first day of July. You need to remember what months have 31 and what months have 30 days. Okay, the ones having 31 days start with January and then they are every other month except it, it switches with July and August so that July and August both have 31 and then after that it again is every other month having 31 days. Okay, a package takes five days to deliver and you want it to arrive on September 3rd. When should you send it? Okay, five days earlier than September 3rd. Let's use our five fingers and count backwards, right? Okay, we would have September 2nd, September 1st, and then August what? What's the last day of August? August 31st, August the 30th, and then August 29th. Ed's birthday is three months after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving being November 27th. This actually varies. Every year the date of Thanksgiving is different. But this particular year, Thanksgiving is on November 27th. Ed's birthday is three months after that. What is the date? Aha, uh -huh, Matty knows already. Here it is three months, so we will just count months after November. Okay, November, and then the next one would be December, then January, then February, right? Yes, you were right, Matty. February 27th. And then lastly, the birthdays of two sisters are January 14th and June 29th. How much time is there between them? Now, we could answer in days, right? So many days, or so many weeks, or so many months, it doesn't say. And if you want to know exactly how many days it is, then you really need to use a calendar, okay? So that you can count the days exactly, or count the weeks, and then multiply by seven. But if we don't want to give it in days, if we want to give it in months, how many months is there between those two dates? from January till June. The way I usually do it is I think of January as the month number one and June as the month number six, right? So then I can just see the difference. One and six, there's five months. And then the dates, there's 14 and 29 or 15 days. That's about two weeks. That's pretty much half a month, right? So we could say this five and a half months, okay? But if you want to know it in weeks or days, then I would recommend using a calendar and counting there exactly, okay? Well done with this lesson.